All right, guys, the Crusader's back. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be talking about a crypto related topic. I'm going to be talking about NFTs. But the question is, what is an NFT? Now, NFTs have been talked about a lot in the media, especially for the past two years. People have been buying and selling NFTs, making boatloads of money. They're in the news. Everybody's going nuts. I'm going to break it down for you guys right now to show you what an NFT is, how they can become valuable, and how you can use them or sell them, buy them, sell them, all that good stuff. So first thing we're going to go over is what is an NFT? Well, NFT stands for non-fungible token. The difference between a non-fungible token and a fungible token is a fungible token, you can have more than one that are exactly the same, meaning, you know, a, or a good example is a digital dollar, Bitcoin, Ethereum. One Bitcoin is the same as another Bitcoin. The only thing that difference is the, the only difference that ever changes is the amount someone has. If it's one uh, Bitcoin is worth exactly the same as another one if you exchange them out. It, it's, there's no difference. They're all the same. They don't have unique asset IDs. Whereas non-fungible tokens, each token is unique. There's only one of any non-fungible token. Examples of non-fungible tokens are CryptoKitties. This was a big craze a couple of years back, or actually it's a little more than that. Uh, Ada Handle. An Ada Handle is a good example of using an NFT for utility. An Ada Handle is basically you can buy an Ada Handle, an NFT that sits in your wallet, that makes it easier for people to find your wallet on the blockchain. You can assign uh, a name or a series of letters. So I have Credit Crusader as my Ada Handle. This is a great example of using an NFT other than just assigning it to a piece of artwork. Then another great example are, is an Ada Ball. Now the Ada Ball project is something I will talk about real quick with you guys. It's something I'm involved with. Now the Ada Ball project is something I've been working on for almost a year now. As you guys can see, I've got a lot of the stuff is done. I've been working with a great team of people, programmers, artists, all that good stuff. The Twitter page is now up. There's going to be a link in the description for you guys to join if you want to be a part of this. I Right now, the, the first 100 people who go are going to get a free crate. Basically, how this project is going to work is that a crate is going to be minted. If you have a crate in your wallet, you now have one or two options. You can keep the crate closed. Think of it like an unopened pack of baseball cards. Or you can open the crate and see what's inside. Now, as far as what's inside, there are tons of different variations when it comes to Ada Balls. The name of the game is to get the mythical. There's only going to be one of one mythical. The rest of them, there will be duplicates. Now, I know I just said, oh, well, NFT, there's only one of one. Well, there, there, you can have a number of signing. You can have an NFT that looks the same as another one, but still it's got an individual policy ID. Nevertheless, you can make, it, think of it like um, a double baseball card. If you guys want to check out this project, go on down to my Twitter page, just give a shout out to the Crusader, and um, you guys will get hooked up with crates once they start to be minted. Just so you guys know, I'm going to be going over ways for you guys to build wallets so you guys actually can use these things down the road. But I wanted to get the info out about the Adaballs project, so those first 100 people, they're definitely going to get hooked up. So go ahead, join the Twitter page, just hit follow, super easy, doesn't cost you anything and you're gonna get hooked up with a free crate. Also, so you guys know, I'm gonna be doing some things for Halloween too. So definitely wanna join and follow that Twitter page. Well, that being said, I'm gonna get on to the next part of the tutorial. Now, a lot of you guys are probably like, okay, yeah, all that stuff's great, but what the hell makes an NFT so valuable? Why are these people spending all this money on just digital artwork that you can just copy? It's just a JPEG, it's just a JPEG. I'm gonna explain that to you guys right now. As you guys can see over here, see this guy, he owns the Hannes Wagner baseball card. Now baseball card, that's just a piece of paper, but that piece of paper is worth $6.6 .6 million. Do you wanna know why? Because the Hannes Wagner baseball card is one of the most rare baseball cards in existence. Hannes Wagner was against chewing tobacco, so he didn't want his picture in being sold with chewing tobacco. So they, they only made a very few of these cards. And baseball collectors, went apeshit for it clearly because the last time it was sold it was sold for 6.6 .6 million dollars it's the most valuable baseball card in existence 
Now we're gonna talk about NFTs like CryptoPunks. See this guy right here? He's one of those Bitcoin billionaires that lives in Dubai. He's got money out the ass. He's buying CryptoPunks. You wanna know why? Because it's a status symbol. I'm gonna just say it right now. Rich people like to collect art. They got tons of money and they like to collect things that are hard to get, things that are rare, things that are valuable, things that will show their status. Now, just so you guys know, Twitter has implemented a way for people to use the, an NFT as their profile picture in their, for their Twitter. And right now, uh, I mean, it's starting to take off. This stuff is really new. It's really groundbreaking. Uh, you know, so I definitely would suggest if at the very least you guys research this stuff if, uh, I don't know, being a part of the future is something that you're interested in because this stuff is not going away. See this guy right here? He's an older guy. He doesn't understand crypto, probably. You know, baseball cards were a thing, comic books, things that you could actually hold in your hand. That was what was big back in the day. This is the future. The crypto stuff is the future because I'm gonna tell you guys right now, the difference between this guy's baseball card and this guy's NFT is that this baseball card, I mean, it's probably not, he probably doesn't have the fake baseball card, but there is a chance he could have a fake baseball card. And not, not only that, there's really no way to prove that he still has the card. If you think about it, you know, he may have just taken his picture with that, then sold it or whatever. He, you know, it, it's, it's having a tangible item when it comes to artwork is sometimes not the best. Um, you know, everybody, I know a lot of old way of thinking, it's like, oh, you gotta be able to hold it in your hand. Well, clearly society is changing. Bitcoin, the explosion of Bitcoin, Bitcoin, I know we're in uh, crypto winter, Bitcoin's at $21,000 per Bitcoin. Uh, let's, let's think about this. It went down, but it's still way up from what it was four years ago. This guy, on the other hand, he's new, he's younger, he gets it. And I'm, I'm a firm believer that this stuff isn't going away and it's only going to get bigger. So with that being said, I mean, to make it really, really, you know, cut and dry, bare bones answer what what makes an nft valuable or it's a status symbol people want other people to know that they have something that's rare that other people want and being able to have an nft allows you to be able to to display that on social media all over the blockchain people can see what's in other people's wallets it's i mean the times are changing and this crypto stuff is definitely becoming a huge part of it so i'm going to go over right now what's a great example of why an nft is better than an actual physical artwork or collectible in any other form for that matter all right so now what i'm going to show you guys here is that when it comes to artwork certificates of authenticity someone's signature that is the old way of doing things i mean what do you do like when you sign a contract you have to sign it with your wet ink signature because that's a way or it was the only way people could tell that you were the person who actually entered in that contract was by your signature. When you go to buy a house, a certificate of authenticity or a piece of artwork is normally signed by the artist. That's to ensure that the piece of artwork that you're buying was made by him and not a copy. Forgery is a huge thing in the industry of artwork, making fake money, making fake documents. As you guys all know, where it comes to crypto, it's unforgeable. You cannot make a fake crypto asset, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's because of the policy ID and the asset ID. If you guys look here, this is Crusader Coin. This is the Crusader Coin policy ID that's attached to Crusader Coin. This is the asset ID that's attached to Crusader Coin. Nobody can fake this. I'm gonna tell you why, because if anybody tried to make another coin or NFT and use this image, and said, oh, here's the Crusader coin, you could immediately tell it's fake because it'll have a different policy and asset ID. That is the easiest way to explain it. So with that kind of power, because it's using blockchain technology, it's uncopyable. You cannot make fake NFTs. So let's think about this. Let's, let's open, you know, let's get the gears turning. In the future, do you guys think that movie tickets, how about concert tickets? voting all sorts of things are going to be used with this technology different contracts when it comes to real estate 
uh, medical records, I mean, all sorts of stuff because of this, the power of this technology. So I definitely encourage you guys to do some research on it. I'm researching the hell out of it and I'm gonna be giving you guys more videos. So like, I know I gotta make this video short and sweet because you know, when I make the videos too long, you guys seem to nod off. But with that being said, I'll get going. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Crusader out.